Hey guys, welcome to Daniel and Shion Talk, and today I'm going to react to the trailer for Thackeray, starring Nawazuddin Siddiqui, my favorite Indian actor. If you guys are wondering where Gian is, he's still on vacation in Guatemala, and he won't be back until January 9th. That's when we'll start to record videos again. That doesn't mean we're not going to be posting things. We have a great review coming up this weekend, as well as our reaction our final episode of the year, as well as other reaction videos that we recorded before he went on vacation. Gian and I reacted to the teaser a few months ago and we were surprised at the imagery. I mean, I believe there was a scene with a Molotov cocktail rolling over and blowing up a baby and that was pretty intense imagery. Uh, we didn't know who he was, what he stood for, what political party he was affiliated with, etc., etc., etc. I have done reading since then. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this one. Three, two, one, go. Fuck. मुझे बॉम्बे शांत चाहिए इस वक्त बॉम्बे को एक ही आदमी शांत कर सकता है जनता का काम करने के लिए जनता के बीच जाना पड़ेगा एक संगठन की शुरुआत करनी होगी अपनी सेना होगी सेना देशवाजी महाराज का नाम और कर ले शुरू अरे भीख मांगने से अच्छा गुंडा बन के अपना हक छीनना अगर बेलगांव का मसला हल नहीं हुआ देश के गृह मंत्री मोरारजी देसाई को चेतावनी देते हैं ये ठाकरे होता कौन है मुझ पर रोक लगाने वाला मुंबई तो क्या महाराष्ट्र की सीमाओं का घुसने नहीं लगे अभी ये सब यहाँ नहीं चलेगा पहला हक क्या के मराठी लोगों का है आप कहते हो कि महाराष्ट्र सिर्फ मराठी लोगों के लिए है मैं जब भी कहता हूँ कि जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र तो जय हिंद पहले कहता हूँ जय महाराष्ट्र बाद में क्योंकि मेरे लिए मेरा देश पहले है राज्य बाद में और आप ही के कहने पर आपके लोगों ने बाबरी मस्जिद को तोड़ दिया वहाँ पे तो राम मंदिर था आपको कैसे पता कि राम लल्ला वहीं पर पैदा हुए थे नहीं तो पाकिस्तान में पैदा हुए थे आड़ेर, आड़ेर, आड़ेर। मैं सही हूँ या गलत इसका फैसला आपने देश की जनता करेगी क्योंकि तो सबसे ऊपर मैं एक ही अदालत को मानता हूँ और वो है जनता की अदालत जो मेरे कंधे पे है ना वो तुम्हारा लोकतंत्र है मैं अगर अकेला भी रह गया ना तो लाखों लोगों को इकट्ठा करने की ताकत आई जगदम्बे ने मुझे दी है मुंबई में हुए दंगों में भी आपका हाथ था हाथ नहीं पाव था मेरा विचार बनकर लाखों लोगों के खून में बहेगा और उस खून के हर कतरे में जिंदा रहेगा ये बाढ़ के शब्द ठाकरी ठाकरी जवानों के परिवारों का दो दर्द भूल सको वाह ओके फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट वॉच हंड्रेड परसेंट आई वॉन्ट सी दिस मूवी 110 million percent the trailer engaged me on a on a visceral level the music at first it was like this bass line this kill bill like doom 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 i mean they're not even a bass line but just like a a thick e string and it's just i don't know it's just it got me and then by the end the the this built attention and i was i was in it just from the music alone i was in it not to mention the visuals not to mention the violence not to mention sadiki makeup the prosthetic makeup looks great i'm all over this movie what i'm curious to see is how factual it ends up being you know how true to the real life events this actually goes and sticks to or is it going to exaggerate a little bit more and and you know i don't want to say hollywood eyes because this isn't an american film but that is the term, you know, is the film going to go Hollywood or is it going to stay grounded and independent like it feels like? Like right now for me, my impression is this feels like something that Kashyap would do. Uh, and, and I say that because of this grounded visceral nature. I mean, there's literally a shot. I mean, I already talked before I started about the, the, the Molotov cocktail setting the tone for the piece. 
And I mean, it starts off with that same shot with the baby and it cuts into the, the house and people are being fucking hacked and beaten to death. And there's a shot of the dude underneath a car, like half his body looks like it's been fucking torn to pieces. Like it looks crazy. I mean, actually the only two off putting things about the entire trailer was every time you saw the tiger, it added the, the tiger sound effect, the growl. And it reminded me of, uh, sing <laughs> And I, and I get why you could put it in there. It's for a trailer. I don't expect that sound effect to be in the final film. So, you know, it's not like I see that and I'm like, oh my God, it's ruining it. Like I'm engaged. I'm thoroughly engaged. I'm genuinely curious to know what you guys have to say about this trailer. Do you like it? Are you looking forward to it? He is a controversial figure. Like I said, I did some research on it. I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want this this video to be about the man i want it to be about the trailer because that's what this is it's a trailer reaction and so that doesn't mean you guys can't let me know what your opinions are about him about this film about the fact that they're making a film about him you know i don't know what side you guys necessarily fall on because i'm sure there's different sides of the spectrum here but as an outsider i can honestly say i am very interested to see this film i, I don't have a stake in the race i i don't not yet i mean maybe in another year or something when i start to finally like really really delve into political climates and things like that but right now i'm sitting on the outside looking in i've only seen what's been presented in movies and to be honest with you not a lot of mainstream cinema presents people like this and you have to watch a Kashyat film. I mean, in Sacred Games, while it might not be a true story, they're based around these true events, these horrific events, these riots and things like that, that I have exposure to now because of these things. So on that level, I'm super interested, super, super, super interested. I cannot even lie. It just visually looks good. I like this muted tone. It's, it's, it's very desaturated. And, and that allows the audience, in my opinion, to really get down to this gritty sense of, I don't know, it, it's just, you're stripping away the color. So it's automatically stripping away the life of the film. So when you see the blood, when you see these acts of grotesque violence, you know that it kind of fits with this tone and, and it sets it off with the visual, the visuals. I mean... You'll never see this much violence in a super saturated film, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a Rohit Shetty film, which, cause, and I, I use him as an example because all of the films that I've seen of his trailer wise are super saturated. The colors pop and everything. This it's very muted and I like it cause it fits the tone. It fits the tone. This has award season written all over it, at least from a performance standpoint. I mean, I still have yet to see a bad performance from Nawazuddin Siddiqui, Gangs of Wasapur. I mean, even in Bajrangi Bajan, the that one recreation where he's like doing the that interview, the 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 reporter on the train, like that was fucking amazing, and I loved his performance in that film. And everything, Ramon Grau two point. I love Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Sacred Games. I love Siddiqui. I genuinely do. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just got his book. I'm, I'm going to start to read his autobiography. That's how much I fucking like the dude. Uh, but yeah, so on that level, I want to see it. I'm interested. But let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Like I said, I know he's a controversial figure. But, you know, I, again, I'm on the outside looking in. And so, you know, let me know. Let's have this conversation. Teach me things. Send me articles as to why you might like him, why you don't like him, why you agreed with the things he did, why you didn't agree with the things he did, why you think this movie shouldn't be made, why you think it's a good thing that it's being made. You know, all of these questions that I can't really have an opinion on yet because I just don't know enough. Wikipedia can only tell you so much. I mean, there's a difference between reading about the guy and then growing up with stories about him or, or experiencing with experiences with him personally, you know, maybe not like personal interactions, but I mean, family or things that, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I enjoyed it. Definite watch. I'll be watching this day one if it releases here for sure. And probably Gion will too. I'm definitely, because it just looks fucking good. It just looks good. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this reaction, this discussion. And if you disagreed with me for any reason, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Share this with your friends. But that'll do it for this one. Peace.